The images along I-80 Saturday morning are forever ingrained in the minds of Ben Barry's family. That part's very tough to see because you know that there was no way he could have known what transpired. Even with quite an age difference, Ben and his first cousin Barry were close. It's gut-wrenching. You see it on the news a lot. You know, at car wrecks and fatalities, you know, but you always think that it's your family, that it's, it's not going to be somebody of yours, right? Barry's family says he was out at the keg stand bar Friday night watching basketball with friends, but they are still trying to piece together what happened after that. Obviously, you've never intentionally do this to anybody. Um, he wouldn't do that to our family. Smith says it's unclear if Barry was drinking or just got confused by the intersection. Authorities are reviewing cameras in the area, hoping the footage provides some answers. You just don't want him to be remembered to be that person that was the, the cause of this. Reeling from the news is Barry's hometown of Knoxville, where his family is well known and where he grew up playing soccer his entire life. By far one of my favorite players I've ever had. He had a, a great personality. I mean, he was always happy. It would kill him right now to know that somebody else was injured or that there was other families hurting. Barry's family says while they're devastated about losing Ben, they are in even more pain, knowing how many lives were taken and families impacted. Please believe that we are thinking about and praying for your families too.